Hello everybody, I'm Chris, you're watching Park Pass, and today I'm gonna to be going to Disneyland. And today's just gonna to be a little bit of a walk and talk video. I have lots of thoughts going through my mind, and I think we all have those days where we feel maybe a little more, I don't know, maybe a little more melancholy, a little more blue. And uh, I just wanna talk about that. Let's get into Disney. Ah, sweet Disney. Let's walk in. I'm just gonna do a little walk and talk, and I have lots of thoughts today. I don't know. Some days I do. Some days I, some days I have no thoughts. But today I seem to have a lot. I came in, bumped into my good friend Adam, Adam the Woo. By the way, if you guys don't, let me just tell you a little bit about Adam. I've known, I probably of all the vlogger friends, he probably he's probably the one I talk with the very most. We talk a lot of trash and baseball. Adam's one of the my nicest people I've ever met. He's just as kind, he's just considerate, he's awesome. And he, he, I was like here, and he messaged, are you here? I'm like, yeah. Here, let me take you up to the DVC lounge. So we're up here, and I wanna show you this amazing view. This is a great view, like you don't get to see this. I don't get to see this every day, he does. If I'm here, <laughs> yeah. between the hours of I think 11 and six. 11 and six is the DVC, the, this is for the DVC club members. There's Finding Nemo. And then if you look over there, of course, Matterhorn. This was the people mover loading area, and then it turned into the rocket rods, and it has not been used in a long, for I think since 99. That used to be a little, it would spin around, they don't do that anymore. But Adam just pointed something out to me I didn't, I've never noticed. Look at these little four spires on this uh, building over here. Just add the aesthetic of it. That's the Star Tours building, right? That's Star Tours. Yeah, that's the Star Tours building with that. And that's one of my favorites, Adam. Do you, I love, I've always, since I was a kid, I've loved the neon Mickey. Star Traders. Star Traders, it's great. It's I a, love that. Yeah, it's a great night. And then it, it's just a good view. There's, there's Space Mountain. And it looks really good. I mean, this is just something you don't get to see every day. Here we are overlooking Atopia. I think we might actually, I'm gonna talk to Adam, we're gonna go ride Atopia together. <laughs> and then once, then after that, I'll probably break off and go do my own thing. Adam will go do his thing. He's running, uh, he's doing the uh, half marathon tomorrow here, the Disney half marathon. So he's gonna go prep for that, and then I'm gonna kind of talk to you guys. I. So uh, Darth Vader has a meet and greet out here in the right here, and I convinced Adam, I'm like, let's get a picture together. And he's kind of got like a sheepy little grin and walked away. I'm not sure if that's a yes or <laughs> he's laughing over there. I'm not sure if it's a yes or a no. What, you always, you're down for that? Always good to be the man. Your service to the empire is appreciated. Your loyalty is expected. This is a freaking awesome. We go? Let's go meet him. <laughs> Rise and go forward in service to the empire. You will join me. Okay, quick little interruption in this video, and there's like the old adage, always have your cameras rolling, and uh, boy, Adam and I kind of blew it. Let me explain to you what happened. We went in to meet Darth Vader, and we were just gonna go get a video, I mean, a, a photo. So we weren't videotaping. We get in there, and Darth Vader is like, do you like the dark, light side or dark side? And I'm like, I'm all about the dark side. Stormtrooper's my favorite. And Adam's like, I like the rebel side. At that, ex after that, Darth Vader just started ripping Adam apart. Like just ripping him apart, and, he, and Darth Vader was like telling me that I'm like I'm impressive, most impressive. And he talked to it. It got so funny. Like he was like roasting Adam so much. I my eyes. I started like I was laughing so hard that I started to cry. It was so funny. But I caught the very end of it when uh, I only caught the very end of it uh, when he was telling Adam that he was a disappointment because he likes the rebel side. So that's what you're gonna see. So just to put some context of what's going on there. We found out, Lord Vader told us that Adam is, he's, your disappointment. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Dang. <laughs> highlight of the day, highlight of the day. One another again. Okay, I'll see you later, Lord Vader. <laughs> I got tears in my eyes. You guys, it was awesome. Vader's in there. He was just ripping Adam up and down. And he was he loving me. He hated me. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, we had a, it was a part of the Rebel Alliance. Yeah, because you're a part of the Rebel Alliance. Yeah. But we walked in. The uh, the guy's like, what do you say? He's like, well, you, shall you? Yeah. Yeah. I want a, you to join me. Shall you? I was like, oh, my gosh. This is, it was a highlight. 
Thank you. Here's the photos that we took. You can see that uh, myself, Adam, and Lord Vader are doing the force choke, but Adam doesn't know how to do it because of the Rebel Alliance. It kind of looks like he's just like holding like a little piping hot caffeinated beverage. <laughs> oh, bad, bad news. It looks like Atopia has been closed for a little bit. All right, so I was gonna do a little talk, walk and talk video, but I ended up running into my friend Adam, and uh, which I think I kind of needed. I think I kind of needed a little positive picking up today. But I'm not done with this video because I want to talk about that because I think that's exactly what we need to be doing. So I'll explain. Uh, but now I got to get ready to go and get ready to go home. So I'm gonna talk on my way home about uh, you know just thoughts. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go home, and I just wanted to say this. I was just thinking. I don't know if you know this. Did you know that everybody gets sad? Everybody does. Um, doesn't matter who you are or how successful your life is or your job is or what a great relationship you might be in or um, if you have your dream job or everybody has days maybe where they wake up, they feel a little sad or a little blue and today was one of those days for me and I know that, that happens to some of you as well. When that happens, you have to remember that it's not going to last, it's going to get better. And luckily today, I was lucky enough, I had my friend Adam text me, he's like, hey, I'm at Disney, are you here? Let's hang out. And so I got to hang out with Adam. And it immediately started to bolster my spirits. Being with a friend makes all the difference. So if you're ever feeling sad or you're feeling blue, uh, a little melancholy or feeling depressed, surround yourself with your family or your friends. It will help lift your spirits. And sometimes you don't, that's when you're feeling depressed, the last, time, the last thing you want to do is hang out with people. That's when you really need to hang out with people. I, I want you to know that you are awesome. And I am talking to you right now. Whatever you're doing, just here, stop what you're doing for a moment and just listen to what I have to say. You are amazing. You are awesome. And you make the world a better place. And I am talking to you. All right, guys. I just want you guys to know that, that everybody has sad days. And when that happens, we're just not going to let the sadness win. It can, it's okay to be sad. And I uh, know there's like some people are like, always be happy. I, whenever I hear that, I'm always like, who can do that? Nobody can do that. Um, but we are striving to have good days. And so if you're having a sad day or a bad day and it's getting difficult, just know it's going to get better. Every day it's going to get a little bit better. And the thing, the, the worst part about it is when you are sad is you want it to be like this. You want it, you want things to be solved immediately. You want the, you want it to be solved immediately. And it unfortunately doesn't work that way. It takes time, but every day you move forward, it's going to get a little bit better. It's a little bit better and a little bit better. And then one day you'll be sitting there with your friends at a baseball game or at Disneyland or at a family dinner. And you're gonna be looking around and you're going to be uh, thinking, yourself like, I feel pretty good. I feel good. And you don't even realize that you're there. You'll get there. I think you're amazing. And if you don't have family or friends to hang out with, I want you to know that you are welcome to be my buddy, my friend, and uh, watch our videos and still I think you're awesome. And uh, this is kind of chit chat. McDonald's. So here's my hack. I always order the same, the two cheeseburger extra vitamin number seven. But I always ask them to hold the onions and pickles on it because then they have to make it fresh. Mm. And it's so hot today. Coca-Cola. Mm. When I was little, my mom would always get Coca-Cola and so put them in the fridge during some time. And um, I really like that flavor. But as I got older, I don't really drink a lot of soda very much anymore. But on a hot day, uh, Coca-Cola is my favorite. I also really like Fanta. Do you, like Fanta? Do you guys like Fanta very much? I think Fanta is great. And it's so fun for me, because when I travel, you go to foreign countries, Fanta is way different flavors. They got melon, like lychee berry, and just all these crazy flavors of Fanta, Fanta that you don't normally get. I love that.
film. That experience today with Darth Vader. <laughs> it was so funny. I my eyes started. I literally had tears. Darth Vader was just roasting Adam. <laughs> It was so funny, and it was relentless. <laughs> and it's just relentless. <laughs> I have to show you the photo. Okay, here's the photo. Now look, you see Adam's hand. He's where I'm. Vader and I are doing the force choke, and Adam, I think, looks like he's holding like a cup of coffee. <laughs> I do recommend it. If you're feeling sad or depressed, hang out with your family. Hang out with your friends. Go outside. Um, and just don't forget how important you are. Because like, we just don't hear that enough in our life, I think. So you're amazing. You're amazing. Does McDonald's have the best fries? I think so. Today's batch is especially good. Though, I like it when they're like soft. I don't like the crispy fries. Some people like the crispy. I like it when they're soft. Oh, I went to Disney today and it was fun. I was feeling a little sad and a little bit blue. But you know what? That happens to everybody. Don't worry about it. If you ever feel sad, talk to your family or talk to your friends and go outside and you will feel better. It's a step-by-step -step process, guys. If you have a good days, we have our bad days, but it always gets a little bit better. Don't forget that. Don't forget that.